The following is a tutorial on FLIR's Research IR Max software and how to share data. We've just finished recording some data, doing analysis, but now let's take a look at how to share data with colleagues or potentially customers. One way is I can go to the image, right click, and immediately export the information as a CSV file or a CSV file with a header. I can also do this for a specific region of interest as well. Or let's say that, for example, on my temporal plot here, there's some really revealing data that I want to share or export so that I can open it up in MATLAB or Excel or some other software to do further analysis. I simply click on the two little arrows, click on Save, and I can save it as a bitmap or comma-separated value file. Additional options I have is I can log this line to a text file in real time while I'm viewing the data or on a recorded movie file. Other ways to share data are available if I go under File, Export, and I can export a current image as a bitmap, a comma-separated value file, a PNG file, a JPEG, a TIFF, or a lot of other file options such as FITS or MATLAB file format. If I want to export multiple images, I just click on multiple images. I have all the same options. If I want to export the entire movie, I can export as a Windows Media Video file, an SAF file format, a TIFF 32-bit floating point, or even a MATLAB file format as well to open it directly in MATLAB. I have options such as the Windows Media Video file quality, or if I'm exporting a JPEG, I can choose the quality and compression as well. And then of course with the movie, I can play it back at a frame rate that's faster or slower based on my record rate. I choose where I want to export the data, in this case a desktop file that I've created, and I can export the entire image, uh, include an image border, and some other options available. One that's kind of neat is I can add a classification. If I check this box, I can type in text that gets embedded on top of or below the image or movie when I export it. So this is helpful if I want to export a movie that may be classified. I can label it as classified or unclassified. Or even if I just want to give it a label, something so that I, people know what we're looking at. For example, maybe this is a printed circuit board that I'm working out with, and I want to type in a title that gets exported with the movie. I can do that as well. Another option worth noting is that we can include frame skipping. So let's say I recorded the data at 100, 500 frames per second but I don't necessarily want to export 500 frames per second. Maybe I want to do export only one out of every 100 frames. I can do that here as well. Probably one of the best ways to share data though is something called a self-viewing file. So if I go under Tools, Make Self-Viewing File, this allows me to export a single movie or through a batch process, multiple movies as self-viewing files. And let me create one to show you what I'm talking about. First, I'm going to choose where to store it. I'm going to put it right here on my desktop. And then I click Make. Now, this takes the entire Research IR software, wraps it around the data, and creates a single executable file. I can close my current Research IR and then go find that file. Here it is, the single file. I could then give this to somebody who doesn't have Research IR installed. And they'll be able to, on a Windows machine, open and run it. And you'll notice it's a lot more than just a playback viewer. I can do a lot of the same great analysis and image enhancement that I can do with the full up software. Yet, I don't have to have the software installed on that local machine. So I'm going to create a box file and add a stats viewer that I'll dock. I'm also going to grab a temporal plot here. And I'm going to click on the image and add a histogram. And all these are available directly with that self-viewing file, that single small file that I'm able to share with other people. So we feel self-viewing files are one of the most exciting ways to share data in Research IR and give your colleagues or customers or whoever you're sharing the data with a little bit more than just a thermal movie to look at. They can actually do analysis and get temperature values per pixel and do their own charts and graphs and analysis directly with the software. And they can even export single images as bitmaps or comma-separated value files or some of these other exciting options available.
While it's not as powerful as the full up software, it does give you a lot more capability beyond just a standard JPEG. For more information on Research IR, how to connect to a camera, acquire data, analyze data, or further sharing opportunities, please look at other Research IR tutorials. Thank you.